Hi guys, it's Jamie from Pearson Portal. Uh, today I am going to review and do a quick tutorial on Burner Mail. Uh, I'm really excited about this app. Uh, I've been using it for a couple weeks and I love it. And uh, I'm excited to tell you about it. So uh, let's just start with basically what is Burner Mail. Uh, it helps keep you protected by not using your real email address when you sign up uh, for anything, anything you want. You can use a basically a separate burner email address or a throwaway email address basically for everything you sign up for, for everything. And it's super simple to do. It doesn't take a lot of extra work or anything like that. Um, there's an online dashboard, there's a Chrome extension, and there's mobile apps. So let's, uh, let's move on to how it works. Uh, so basically burner mail lets you create an unlimited amount of burner email addresses. Uh, those email addresses forward anything sent to them to your real email address, making it that so that the companies that you give these email addresses to don't actually have your real contact information. They can't track you online uh, and they can't send you spam if you decide you don't want it. Uh, so basically you sign up for different companies. It can be free trials. It can be real accounts. It can be um, a lot of developers use these testers um, at home entrepreneurs. Uh, it's really valuable. Um, so basically you can create a burner email on the spot on these sites to join up with. Uh, and then in, in your burner mail dashboard, uh, you can see that the emails it forwards them. If you turn it off and tell it to block them, you can see how many emails it blocks that it's saving this from you from getting spam. Uh, and everything is safe. They don't keep anything stored on their servers. Um, they forward it right to your personal account. Um, they don't keep anything. Uh, let's see a couple other important things. It's tailored to protect your privacy. So again, there's a little button that actually gets put on every email field in your in your browser that allows you to create a burner email on that site while you're on the fly. You don't have to go log into a dashboard. You don't have to run the extension. You don't have to do anything. It's right there. There's no extra work. You simply click that button and it fills in an email for you that will automatically forward the stuff this company sends to this email to your email. Uh, so it's super convenient. It's, there's no extra work involved. There's nothing like that. Uh, once you've created a burner email, either by clicking that button or the many other ways you can do it, you can then manage those burners on your dashboard and within the Chrome app or the, excuse me, the Chrome extension. Uh, you can turn burner emails on and off. You can delete them and you can see the stats from them. Um, Another really cool feature is you can edit the recipients. So by default, any burner email you create is going to send that email that is sent to that email to your personal email, but you can add other recipients as well. If you have multiple personal emails or multiple emails in the company that you want these to go to, you can do that. That's a feature that's not available on most of these types of apps uh, that I was really excited about. And secondly, uh, another feature that I'm really excited about is that you can reply with the burner address. Uh, so a lot of the times you have these softwares where you can make burner emails. It's just to sign up for something, but you know, you can't confirm the email account or do other things with them a lot of the times. This one you can, you can actually reply, have a conversation back and forth with that email address. So it's really cool. Uh, so one more time, just to give you a quick recap, what does burner mail provide as a service? You can stop giving out your email address online. You don't have to give out your real contact information anymore. It's very valuable. Keep it to yourself. Only give it to the people you want to. You can give it to companies you, you trust and to people and friends and family. But if you're not sure, you don't have to give it out anymore. Uh, you can read your emails in your personal inbox while using our service as an extra layer of protection. You don't have to stop using Gmail or Outlook or whatever it is you use. You can use that. It works with all email addresses on all email platforms. Uh, you can find out who's selling your email address by using a separate one for each sign up that you do. If you get emails from somebody else to that email address, you will know that they sold your information. You will know that. So you're in a lot better, well, you have a lot more control. And of course, the most convenient part of it is if you do get too much email, you can you can block a sender by just turning off that burner email. You don't have to unsubscribe and hope that it works. It seems like that rarely works anymore for me. Uh, so this actually works. You can block a sender completely. All right, so let's check out the dashboard here. So this is actually burner mail. This is the dashboard. You can see all the burner emails that I've created. You can see how many times those emails have been forwarded to my real email. You can see how many times one has been blocked and not forwarded to my real email. Uh, you can generate burner emails right here on the dashboard, of course. Um, there's 10 domains that come for free right here that you can use uh, for your burner domain, burner uh, emails, but you can also use your own custom domain uh, right here. You can go to custom domain, set up your own domain, and have burner emails generated with your own custom domain. 
Uh, so that's really cool. Uh, so let's look at one of these real quick. So this one right here, I signed up for a monthly box kit trial on Radish Kids and they sent me emails. Um, I had them going just directly to my main email. I didn't add any extra recipients. Uh, when you create, when you generate an email on the site itself with the little button I showed you, it actually uses the domain name as part of the email so that you know what you use the email for, why you used it, what you were doing, where you signed up for. Um, so that's great. It does that automatically for you. I didn't have to type that in or anything. Um, you can edit the description here and add a lot more information if you want to, to remind you what this email is for or why you were using it. Um, I, I created it on the 20th. I got two emails and then I decided I no longer wanted to get emails from Radish Kids. I was not interested in the product any longer. So I turned it off by in disabling it right here. And since I disabled it, it's blocked two emails from getting to my inbox, from getting to my real inbox. Uh, so the other couple things you have is you have mailboxes. You can also set up as many of these as you want where you can actually see emails back and forth for one of them at a time and reply to them. Uh, so, I, so I have just this email right here that I created first, but I can actually go in there and create an email, reply to an email, get a response and see it in here and reply to it again. So if you need to have a back and forth and don't want to use your own email uh, box, you can do that. You can create as any of these as you want for each burner email. Uh, so that's a cool feature. Um, and then, like I said, you can do custom domains. Uh, so you can just add a custom domains here. I can add up to five of them and then I can create burner emails from my own domains. Uh, which I think is really cool uh, as well. And adds another layer of uh, professionalism and realism. Um, it doesn't seem like something that's fake or burner. People aren't going to know that you're using burner emails um, if you don't want them to. Uh, let's see. So now I just want to show you in action how it works real quick. And then I'll show you where you can get it. Uh, it's currently on a lifetime deal that is awesome and I suggest you use, but I'll show you how to get it as a lifetime deal and directly from uh, Burner Mail themselves. Uh, so let's open up a new tab here and I'm going to search for box subscriptions. And so here's FabFitFun. So every website has somewhere where you can sign up for an email, uh, for like a newsletter or a free trial or something, but they all, uh, that email is worth a lot to them. It allows them to contact you and put things in front of you, advertisements and other things. Uh, so it's really valuable. So here's one on this, FunFitFab. Our emails are pretty awesome. So you see this button, that button is not there unless you've installed the, the Chrome extension. Um, and if you've done so, then this button will be on every email address and you can just click it and it will instantly create an email address to use, and then you just click the sign up button. You don't have to do anything else. That's it. So you don't have to go and run and create something on a different page, copy it. You can do all that, but it's so simple and just built in right here. The other way you can do it is if you don't have the Google Chrome extension installed, you can still right click and click generate burner email for this field. If I do that, it does it right there. Again, it uses the domain name as part of it so that you know where it came from and why. Uh, so let me show you what those emails look like when you get them. Uh, you know that it came from one of your burner emails. So, oops, there we go. So you can see right here, FabFitFun, yeah, you did it. So if you click on that, you can see right here, this burner email has been sent to this by burner mail. So you can see this came from my burner mail. This didn't come directly from them. In the email address, you can see it too. VIP at FabFitFun.com via burner mail. Okay, so that's how we know that this was a company that I didn't give my real email address to. I gave them my fake one. And it says it, you don't have to open it. You can see it right here. It says this email has been sent to Fathathon by Burner Mail. Okay, so you'll see I have a couple other of those in there as well. And uh, it makes it really easy to see what you got. You can also reply to it right there because you're replying to Burner Mail, not to the company. And Burner Mail will then, using that email address, forward your reply to FabFitFun. So you can actually have a back and forth from your own email or from the email boxes in Burner Mail. It's uh, super handy, super simple. I love it. Um, so one more time on the dashboard, you can edit the recipients. You can send an email from this email address with this button here, which I, like I said, is a great feature that not a lot of them don't have. Uh, you can copy the email address to use it multiple times if you need to or want to. You can use one email address for certain types of sites as opposed to each of them. But I suggest you do each one individually because you'll be able to see if they're selling your information. You can see that FabFitFun forwarded that one email to me right there. 
Um, you can also create custom burners. So this one down here, it says custom. I typed in social videos. So I got to customize what I wanted that to be. So I could put my name. I can make it very, very real. Okay. Uh, let's see. So to get it from that directly from them, uh, let me go to their site. Close this down. So if you were to get it directly from burner mail, the premium account, which I would, I would suggest you get the unlimited. Uh, so the premium account is $2.99 a month or $35 a year. And I think they only bill you yearly. So it's $35 a year. Uh, it's not expensive. I think $3 a month is well worth it for what you get. Uh, real quickly, you get unlimited addresses. You can customize them. You can create as many of those mailboxes as you want. You get 10 premium domains. That's the ones that they give you with it. Uh, you can add one custom domain. You get priority email delivery. You can reply with your burner address and you can add multiple burner recipients, which is a great feature. Um, but you only get one custom domain doing it this way. And this goes on forever. You'll pay $35 a year uh, continually and the price could go up. So you might pay more than that over time. It's hard to say. Uh, so that's one way you can do it, $2.99 a month or $35 a year. What I did was I bought it as a lifetime deal on AppSumo. And I'll show you that right here. So on AppSumo, it's $49. That's a one-time payment of $49, and you never pay for it again. And you can use it for life. You never have to make a payment. You get unlimited uh, burner emails just like the other one. Uh, so you can read through here and look. Um, it's all the same things. The, the important difference is mainly right here. You're actually doing it through AppSumo. For a one-time payment of $49, excuse me, $49, you get five custom domain names. So you get all the other stuff, unlimited burner addresses, fully customized, unlimited mailboxes, replies, multiple recipients. Everything's the same, but you get five custom domains instead of one. Uh, so I think that's super worth it, and I definitely recommend you go this route. Uh, in the description of this video, there'll be a link to both of these, so you can check it out on AppSumo, which is where I definitely recommend you get it and what I did. So I can use this for life and create these forever and uh, stop spam from getting into my email at Cox. Or you can get it directly from them if you don't want to pay $50 and you're not sure. You can pay $2.99 a month or $35 a year to try it out. Uh, so I hope this has been uh, interesting and helpful. I hope you check out Burner Mail. I love it. Uh, my email feels so much safer and, and cleaner already. Uh, so have fun and take care. I'll see you next time.